I wasn't there to challenge him uh, on anything. I wasn't looking, didn't go there with the intent of, of making any statement. I went there with the sole purpose of, of either talking to somebody about uh, the situation that I do not wear masks. I, I have trouble breathing when I, when I wear masks. That was not even brought up. That wasn't even asked. Uh, whether I had a medical medical condition, and which is stated in the directive from the governor that if there is a medical condition, that, that there's an exception for that, and but that wasn't even asked. That they he just went right into the spiel of of is uh, this is for the others. Uh, health as well as my own uh, is that he didn't ask uh, even why uh, he just said and then he just came out with uh, I am going to order you to to wear a mask and I I told him he did not have that authority to to make me wear a mask and uh, he seemed to get agitated I, I wasn't trying to um, confront him about it. I, that's just the facts. He did not have that authority. And so he, he ordered me to, uh, to wear a mask. The other lawyers that were there, or two of the lawyers that were there, stepped in and tried to um, intervene. And he told them to shut up. Uh, they had stated that they wanted me on the on the jury selection pool. He, they wanted me in it, and he told them to shut up. And without any regard to their opinion or their desire. And uh, with that, he he uh, wrote out the. The order to have me arrested, and uh, at that point, I, I tried to get uh, Jesse Slaughter involved at, at that point. Yeah. Um, so then, last last question here. So the reasoning you you felt for not wearing a mask was that it um, the the medical condition you, you feel like it, it makes it harder to breathe and. Well, it definitely does, and and I. I'm in a line of work that I, I'm in some nasty places and those that work with me can attest that I don't wear masks. I, they're, they're, I just cannot breathe and, and uh, with a mask on. It, it's just very, very uh, difficult. And so even in very nasty conditions, I uh, have not worn a mask that is proven and that is uh, that is a fact and uh, and I would have I would have told him these things if he was in the if he was willing to listen but he was just for whatever reason he was not listening to anybody at that point and uh, the court recorders will the Transcript will will bear that out. That uh, he wouldn't listen to me. He wouldn't listen to the opinions of the of the lawyers, uh, and uh, he thought that I was a threatening of for some reason, and I do not know why. I simply went there to do my civic duty, and I ended up being put in harm's way in active cases of, of COVID. Uh, it's, something is, something's wrong with that. I am not a, I'm not a criminal. I am not trying to do, go against the law. I'm, I, I'm, I try to, I, I support the police departments. I support the, the, the sheriff's department. Uh, I voted for, Sheriff Slaughter. Um, this whole thing just was uh, 
I wasn't trying to set a precedent. I had no idea. I just was, could only speak for myself. And I, I, I think as a, a citizen of this country, I, I, I do deserve uh, the, the respect and the, and the, uh, the right to, for, for selecting whether I wear a mask or not. Uh, there's countless studies done that they do more harm than they do good. And uh, so uh, whatever the reason Governor Bullock decided to uh, make the mandate, he, he, he did leave an uh, exception in there. And uh, I think the judge totally ignored that and uh, didn't, uh, didn't even consider it.